Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's head on out to the wastes, and it's time to search for the pathway to Demonta. Now that we've got their radiation suits. Now, if I remember correctly, I think we're supposed to listen for a broadcast, right? Something that can tell us the the pathway. It's apparently a way kind of like in between the worst of the radiation. Which is apparently still filled with radiation, but just not as bad. It's something we could at least survive. So, where to go? I think, yeah, I should probably just go east of the prison. So, yeah, let's just head to the prison. Where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. Should probably hit the water on the way there, so I don't make everybody die of dehydration. I don't think there's any major unexplored areas. I guess I could check over here. Those noises are really creepy. Ooh. Not bad. Okay, so this, yeah, this is probably where I want to go. East of the prison. Actually, go here. Surprisingly. Greetings, travelers. Ooh. Are you looking for a safe path to the east? Mm-hmm. Do you wish to journey to the Monta and beyond? I do. Then let the servants of the Mushroom Cloud be your guides. The Canyon of Titan is the only clear route through the radiation, and we guarantee your safety within it from west to east and back again. All that is required is a small donation to our temple, and your security is assured. If you can hear this message, you are almost to our canyon. Just keep heading to the east through the Great Glow until you reach the safety of our canyon. May Titan's peace be upon you. I don't think these are the people that somebody mentioned would have the would be able to tell us where to get through. Wasn't it the, the monks or something? It wasn't the monks. So I'm a little bit suspicious. So they should be in there, but uh, let's see if there's anything here first. Also, I need water. <laughs> ah, there we go. The Canyon of Titan. This place looks very different from places I've been before. Well, maybe not very different, but a bit different. It's very canyon-rific. Caution. I'm not sure what that picture is showing. It's like three people running away from something. Are there mines? Negative, please respond. Negative one. This message is for Angela Death if he's still 
to Ranger Command for new orders. I repeat, to Ranger Command ASAP. She is not to proceed to demise. Copy. Give me that mic. Come on, Snake. What are you doing to me? I'm on the trail of Ace's killers. I'm not turning around now. Angie, listen. Putting up an advanced team that will be flying out to fix on that signal. I want you to leave. People behind Ace's death or anywhere, it's probably at that location. And this is the command that'll get it. Come on home. That's an order. Thank you, Snake. Uh, General, I really appreciate it. You're too good to me. Death out. 10-4, Angie. Hi, uh, Echo One, listen. You're lost signal. You appear in a dead zone. We may lose contact. Radio on. We will at regular intervals. Copy? Copy. 10-4, Echo One. One last thing. Signal status on the DeMonta radio telephone. Route to the east, over. Affirmative, Ranger Command. We have a route. Good work, Echo. Dara will want to review the turn. Monta ASAP. Now that we review these broadcasts, we're more anxious than ever to learn where we're going. We need that tower. Copy? Copy. Echo 1 out. Roger, Echo 1. Good luck. Ranger. Sorry, Captain. I can't ignore that order. I gotta go back and see what they want. I'll catch up with you later. No, we lost Angela. I knew this would happen. Somebody said you shouldn't rely too much on Angela because at some point... Something happens, and I guess this would be it. Well, shit, I almost want to go back just to get another person, but... Nah. We don't need another person. We'll be fine. We've got Night Terror. We'll cut out the eyes and limbs of our enemies and feed them as candy to the Night Terror. Yes. Who are these people? Oh shit. Looks like they had a shootout. What's going on? How do, Rangers? Don't uh, don't suppose you all got a medic among you? Don't ask the damn Rangers, they never help nobody. You assholes, just you wait and see. Really, you, you don't think we help anybody? I should shoot you for saying that, you fucker. I, I mean, yes, we'll fix them. Cowboys guard a small herd of uneasy cattle just off the road. Well, to one side. A few dead cows draw flies. Behind the herd, some tents have been set up, and wounded, and a wounded cowboy lies on bedrolls around a campfire, while less wounded men tend to them. In the road, an older black woman in western gear stands with a skinny white cowboy. The woman tips her hat to you as you draw near. All right, let's fix him up. Or okay, we can. Yes, we are friends, Night Terror. Just please don't terrorize me. A handsome older black woman with a ready smile. She has some minor wounds on her hands and face, but looks otherwise unhurt. Bless you for stopping, folks. We're in a peck of trouble, and no mistake. Got jumped by some raiders just outside the safe zone, and our wounded are gonna bleed out before we can get them to the Mad Monk's hospital. We already lost most of the herd. You ain't got a medic with you by any chance. We'll be glad to trade for some doctoring. Absolutely. Why do you need a medic? Let, let's just actually help the person rather than questioning it, because they're ble like bleeding out. I, I guess I have to. Uh, why do you need a medic? Poor old Doc took one right in the gut with a dirty knife. Now he's so poorly he can't even open his eyes. Which is a crying shame, seeing as he's the best sawbones this side of the Colorado. If you can get him on his feet again, he could probably fix up the rest of us. Might even be able to show you a thing or two about setting limbs and such. Sure. What's what's your name? Apparently I already know her name, but okay. Oh, no, screw that. Let's help the person. K-1-1, 
Can we not? Or do we have to talk to him? Zero percent chance. Uh. It is impossible. Does that mean he just needs to be a better doctor? Um, does he have any saved up skill points? He does, actually. Okay, uh, let's become a better surgeon. Boom. Now we can fix up your doctor. If everybody would stop standing on him. Jesus, rude. 27%? Ew. That's not great. Alright. Just hope I don't puncture any arteries. <clears throat> Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no. Fuck. Dude. Do I really have to kill them now? I seriously have to kill them? I made the decision. I'm not going to reload my save game just to escape responsibility for my decision. Damn it, I should have exhausted all my dialogue options before trying to operate, because they had a lot of stuff to say. And I missed it all. You could have told me about the mad monks. God damn it. I liked you. You seemed nice. really don't want to kill you. Are the cows going to attack us too? I hope they don't. Wait, wait what did the night air just say? A mean person said I'm unholy, but I got all the normal holes. <laughs> I want to see if the night air will attack anybody. If I shoot you, I'm going to shoot the cow, too. We can't have that. <sighs> I tried to save one person, and I killed three. Let no one ever say the rangers never help anybody. Oh, that's the dock stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Advanced trauma kit. Damn it. Well, shit. We, I like adventures. Can we actually bury the bodies? Can we do that? No. Wait. Wait, you're not dead. <laughs> Can I try to save you? Zero percent. Okay. Um, I'll just leave you then. Right. Shadowy figure. You didn't see anything, right? Oh my god, there's people everywhere. Tom. Tom, you saw what happened, right? We tried to help the man, right? We cool? Where is she? Where did they take her? What do you care, asshole? You'll never make it. I'll make it further than you. I'm 
coming, Tam. I'm coming. Man on a mission. Why do I think this isn't going to end well? Titan base, Colin. All outposts report. Outpost 1 reporting. All clear. Outpost 3 reporting. All clear. Outpost 2 reporting. Been seeing those lurkers again. I sent Brother Leary to investigate, but they disappeared. Couldn't find them. Report noted. Outpost 2, stay alert. 10 4 Titan Base, Outpost 2, out. Um, I, I wasn't taking that man's scrap, I was checking his pulse. Yes. I'm a doctor, trust me. You should see, I, I tried to help that other guy over there. A haggard middle aged man with the looks of a shopkeeper, but the ice cold eyes of a killer. Stay away from me, Rangers. I'm a dead man. What happened? What? The empty wagon and the dead bodies didn't give you a clue? Raiders happened. They had a mark of a mark of Titan. We didn't. And on our way to get one, they killed my sons. Took my stock. Took my my wife. Well, I'm taking her back if it's the last thing I do. And it will be. What the hell's the Mark of Titan? You pay your tribute, and you get a Mark of Titan. Which gets you safe passage from here to Demont. Oh, right. Nobody can touch you or steal your shit, or else the Mad Monks and their god Titan will blow them to kingdom come. That's why you gotta stay away from me, Rangers. Once I start killing these raiders, the monks will make me public enemy number one. You might get caught in the crossfire. Oh, shit. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I don't want to piss the Mad Monks off. I wouldn't want to make the Mad Monks matter. Okay, well, there's a lot to know. And unfortunately, I killed the person over there that was going to tell me this stuff, so I gotta ask you. Who or what is a Titan? Or is Titan? I don't know what Titan is. The monks call it a god, and say it could blow us all up a hundred times over. As far as I know, though, nobody's ever seen it. So maybe they're just blowing smoke. Why would you be a public enemy? The monks don't care who they, uh, who they give a, give a mark of Titan to. They'd give one to the devil himself as long as he paid his tribute. Those raiders paid their tribute, so they're under the monks' protection. Anybody goes after them is breaking Titan's peace, and fair game for the mad monks. Well, I'm too far gone to care, but you guys got your whole lives ahead of you, so take a walk. Titan's Peace. Well, I kind of already know what that is, but just in case. The monks use the threat of their suicide bombers and their god Titan to keep everybody too scared to pull any shit. And that's Titan's Peace. And it holds as long as you're in this canyon. Suicide bombers? What the hell? Tell me more about the mad monks. I know you're on a mission to save your wife, but please tell me more. The Servants of the Mushroom Cloud. They're the psycho fucks that run this place. Worship some god they call Titan, and keep the peace by being the craziest nutjobs in the canyon. Blow themselves up whenever anybody starts something. You know all those craters around here? Every one of those was a monk blowing up some troublemakers, and taking himself with them. Oh. So what happened with the raiders? Fuckers jumped us before we had a chance to pay our tribute and get our Mark of Titan. And of course, they had a mark, so we're not even allowed to fight back. Well, I don't care. I'm a dead man anyway. I'm gonna get Tam back and kill as many of those bastards as I can before I die. Tribute? I already know what the tribute is. Why does that even show up? Go away. Raiders took your wife? Yeah, Tam. Only good thing this rotten this rotten life's ever given me. And I'm not letting those raiders take her away from me. Or or touch her. Or <sighs> You need any help? You don't want to help me, trust me. 
If the raiders don't kill you, the monks will blow you up for attacking them. You attack anyone with the mark of Titan, even a dirty thieving raider, and you're on their shit list. Now get out of here. I don't want to get on the Mad Monk shit list, but I could probably resolve this peacefully given my speaking abilities. You can trust us. It's our job to help. Just like we helped those people over there, did you see? You guys are crazy. But if you want to risk your lives helping me, I won't say no. Thanks. I'm pretty sure I saw them drag her up this path. Let's go. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Now what the hell's up with this shadowy figure? Psst. Rangers. Over here. Uh, what? Um... Yeah, I don't really want to follow you. I'll follow you later, you creep. Hello. And what just happened with my logbook? The Ratsus have served as well. We made it through the radiation into a twisting canyon which we'll need to wind our way through to reach DeMonto. Gotcha. Traveler, this is Werewolf Wally. Ow! Howling at you from radio station KPOW in the heart of downtown Damata. Are you tired, hungry, lost in the trackless reaches of the waste? Then point your tired tootsies toward the friendliest little town in Arizona, Damanta. Titan Base, this is Outpost One. Come in. Go ahead, Outpost One. Yeah, I need a replacement for Brother Ferris. He went to the Great Glow, defending a party of merchants from raiders. May Titan bless his passing. Indeed, Outpost One. May he become one with the Great Glow. Sending you Brother Camisa Roja as a replacement. 10-4. Outpost One, out. Where the hell did Tom go? Hey, Hepcat, this is Werewolf Wally with a message for all you scavengers out there. Searching for scrap heaven? Well, you found it! Hello! Our little town sits in the ruins of the Davis Montana Air Force Base, a big old airplane graveyard that's filled with more tech than you can shake a stick at. Jets, helicopters, copper wire, computers, robots, kitchen sinks. Hey, if you need it, Del Monte's got it. So come on by! Where did he go? I, I don't understand. He didn't go that way. He didn't go this way, or would have fought those damn things. He didn't go through here, because that's still closed, and uh, I guess maybe he wouldn't appear on the left. Blocking the road ahead is a scruffy pack of leather-clad thugs, all armed with guns and clubs. As you approach, their leader, a scrawny red-headed punk with bad skin and missing teeth steps forward, dressed in an ill-fitting police uniform. He holds up his hand. Church police. Okay, well, I don't actually intend to go that way yet, so if you don't mind... Titan base, this is Outpost 2. Come in. Go ahead, Outpost 2. 10-4, Titan base. Saw our lurkers again, and again... Nothing there when we went to look. Where did he go? You no, know, I'd really appreciate it if you sent out a full team to investigate. Sorry, Outpost 2. Our brothers are sending themselves to the Great Glow faster than we can recruit. Stop it, require your assistance. We just don't uh, have the okay. manpower. 10-4. Making me nervous is all. Well, keep up your reports and we'll keep logging them. 10-4, Outpost 2. Out. I mean, I'm not mistaken, he did go this way, didn't he? I mean, he went this way, but maybe he went this way? 
I'm so confused. I almost want to load my save game and just follow him right away, but I don't know when that save game was from. Outpost 2, calling Titan Base. Outpost 2, go ahead. Just let Clyde through. Water truck's on the way. No, I'm gonna load my save game. That's... he didn't go here. This is a disaster. I can't even follow this damn dude. Shit, so my save game is from before this. Hold on. I've got a couple saves back. I think I saved right before I talked to Tom. No. No, this has got to be the one right before Tom, right? <sighs> Hold on. Okay. I loaded an older save game, which is actually from when I first came to this place. Which means I had to redo the critical fail of, um, doing the cowboy surgery and kill them all over again. I just kept, um, I kept partially doing the surgery until I got a critical fail. So I had to relive the trauma. Okay, but I'm finally back here. This time, I'm not gonna lose track of him. Where the fuck did you go? No, you did go to the right. Where did you go? Maybe he was the body that I saw. Oh god, he was the body. Wally, ow! Howling at you from radio station KPOW in the heart of downtown Damada. Yeah, he was the body over here that the honey badger was standing over, right? Reaches of the waist, then point your tired tootsies toward the friendliest little town in Arizona, Damanta. Titan Base, this is Outpost One. Come in. Oh shit, badgers ate the raiders. Yeah, I need a replacement for Brother Ferris. Indeed, Outpost. May he become one. Okay, so you really do have to follow him. Sending your brother Camisa Roja as a replacement. 10-4. Outpost 1. Out. Get a nice double shot off here. Okay, well, the fact that the Badgers ate the Raiders is a very, very good thing. Although, one, I wonder if the Badgers ate Tam. Pulse Rifle. Mm, oh, actually, they have five armor, so the Pulse Rifle is actually a good thing here. Oh, that's right, the Pulse Rifle has a terrible range. Let's do burst. That was terrible, Theodore. I can pulse this thing, right? Yeah, but I can only shoot once. Actually, I should have used Yulia's energy weapon too, because these things have so much armor. Ah, 
we don't need to burst anymore. Eight hit points. Ah, I'm not gonna waste the ammo. Let's let Tom pick it off. Hey, I have cats. This is Werewolf Wally with a message for all you scavengers out there. Searching for scrap heaven? Well, you found it. Hello! Our little town sits in the ruins of the Davis Montana Air Force Base. A big old airplane graveyard that's filled with more cats than you can shake a stick at. Jets! Helicopters, copper wire, computers, robots, kitchen sinks, hey, hey, if you need it, Del Monte's got it. So come on by. Well, shit. She did die. I'm sorry, Tom. Can I give you a hand? No, I can't. Now is not the time for candy. Night terror. Okay, just go munch on one of those badgers. Tam and I owe both you. Uh, Tam and I both owe you, Rangers. Once I put my old lady to rest, I'm gonna head back home to. Put. How do you pronounce that? Picasso? I'm done with this fucking canyon. If you make it up the way to, uh, if you make it up the way to Temple, you can have a cache of gear I stashed a while back. Here's the key to the lockbox. Oh, thank you. Who got the key? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Catnip. Your friend, the Great Glow. Is that a new shotgun? That might be better than what I have. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Lava lamp. You know what? Would you like to munch on some badger nut sacks? Candy in my face. That's it for up here. Oh, wait a minute. He keeps saying he has a peanut allergy. I wonder if I can actually find peanuts. A few embers burn below this slowly cooling cookpot. At the very bottom, you spot a glass dish filled with a faint yellow gelatin, topped with white foam. A pleasant aroma rises from the cauldron. Huh? Faint yellow gelatin. What? <gasps> it's banana pudding! And it applies the banana pudding effect. That is the best thing I've ever found in the entire game. Okay, Pizeppi, you haven't seen much of the outside world. I'm going to let you have this one. Let me save the game first. 
found in the cookpot of a band of raiders eaten by badgers. This is a properly made southern style banana pudding, topped with meringue. Improves condition for one point every 10 seconds and plus three action points. Yeah. Totally went to waste, but who cares? That was delicious. And the night terror said, my daddy used to poke me with sticks. I'm sorry, little guy. Do you want some more candy? Here's a badger's tail. Candy in my face. Sure pays off to look at everything. Mouse over everything in the damn game. Never know what you might find. Might find banana pudding and a cauldron. At a camp where a bunch of raiders were eaten by gigantic badgers. You just never know. Oh, I just realized we don't have Angela anymore. So she can't bash this down. Don't mean we can't shoot it. Night Terror, you might want to back up there, buddy. Ooh, candy. Motocross helmet, which looks suspiciously like a cowboy hat. I got some more candy for you. Candy, yes. Candy is best. Hold on, I got something else. Lace Bustier. I want to see what that looks like. And the motocross helmet. Okay, I'm not going to wear that. Also, am I crazy or does she look like she's like a piece of old dried fruit that's been in the sun for like a week? Like, holy crap. What is wrong with her skin? It's like she's got the skin of an 80 year old woman. What? That, what? That's a motocross helmet? It's not even a helmet, it's just a cloth. What, huh? Okay. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the shotgun. Hmm, it is worth more, so it's probably better. Damage. Lower min, higher max damage. Hit chance is the same, critical chance is the same, multiplier is higher. Same chance to jam, higher range, higher capacity, higher cone angle, same armor penetration, same AP. Yeah, this is just better. Yeah, it's simply better. The best thing about it is probably the range and the higher degree for the cone. It should, should allow me to hit more enemies. That thing looks sexy. Oh, yeah. There's something else I wanted to look at. Oh, yeah, your friend, the Great Glow. Holy crap, that's long. So that's a pamphlet for the religious order of the glowy stuff. I should probably read this. To understand their people more. No, I'll read it later. Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Etched lightly into the tarnished steel is a small design of an owl. That reminds me of something. Hold on a second. Okay, I can just get inside of it. But... Small design of an owl. Didn't I get... Aw, Pazepi's lost a banana pudding. <laughs> Didn't I get, like, a, a symbol that had an owl on it from... Uh, what the hell is that guy's name? The weird dude that followed me around and never spoke English, and he ended up killing me for some reason, or trying to, sh trying to shoot us, so we killed him. And he had something on him. And I have it stored back at the Ranger Citadel. I don't have it on me. I thought it had an owl on it. Hmm. I wonder if that would like... I wonder if this is his, or if maybe that emblem thing would allow me to get inside of it, or what. But I don't have to. I could just do this. But that is very, very strange. of Providence. Met <laughs> a bunch of boom boxes and lipstick and weird random stuff. Ooh. So that's just like the PDA thing. Something you put on situationally just to improve your chance of actually succeeding in your skill check. Safe cracking and lock picking. So that's useful for both Harper and um, Vulture's Cry. Cool. All right, well, skippity doo -dah. Yes, Night Air, skippity doo -dah. There is a shit ton to explore here. This place is massive, and it's twisting and winding and goes so many different pathways. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do next, but there's a lot of options in front of me. So I think I'll end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.